Today is framing day. I've come up to my metal shop. It's a couple hours drive to get here, but hopefully the amount of time saved by working in a good metal shop will make up for the time I lost getting here and going home. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all the smaller beds and shelves today. So there'll be a shelf here that's about 20 or so inches down, maybe a little more from the roof. It's going to come out from the wall about 24 inches. and It'll run most of the length of the trailer here, it'll come up to about here, about two thirds of the length. In the front, I'm going to put two beds. One is going to be low enough to be as a couch height, and the other one is going to be high enough up so that you can sit underneath it. They're going to. The original plan was to come out 24 inches for these beds. You can see the lines on the floor. That's a 24 inch line and then a 30 inch line. And the 30 inch line ties it directly underneath this upper roof beam, which will be nice. So if I decide to go there, I could tie straight into this beam as opposed to having to put another tie across the top. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with this outer one. In order to put these beds up, I'm using this material here. This is called a Super Strut. I bought it at Home Depot. No, actually Lowe's, but they both have them. I looked at them in both places. The prices are about the same. They make two sizes that you can get there. This is the, the shorter size and they make one that's basically square. You can get all kinds of nuts and bolts that will tie into these rails. And obviously we have a lot of pinout points and these are mostly smooth. There's a couple little burrs and stuff because they're made for industrial purposes. They're not super smooth, but uh, for the most part, they're smooth. So we won't be catching our clothes on them. They don't look bad. And I'll be able to use these for my interior shelving and it's nice and strong, fairly light and fairly inexpensive. These are about $15 per stick for a 10 foot stick. So I'm gonna get on to cutting these out, move on to the next step. strut in it's uh nice and solid welded it pretty good to the top there not the prettiest welds got my insulation a little hot probably would have been better i'd pull it all out pull the insulation down but it worked fine i put a couple of aluminum angles put a couple of these just tuck them into the insulation there to kind of shield it a little bit from the heat uh, or i could have welded it and I could have oiled it a little bit at a time so I didn't get the whole thing quite so hot, but it, it's fine. And I'm bolted down nice and solid, so that's my first upright. I've decided to run a strut vertically on this wall. Uh, the same as this one here, I'll just tie it to the roof here on this beam, take it down to the floor and bolt it on, because I don't have room, uh, or I don't have anything back behind this wall to bolt it to, so I'm going to bolt it onto this one and use that as my vertical. I didn't bring enough of the angles, so I made myself a new one. It's going to get welded right here, like that. Same as this, and then I'll bolt to it. <clears throat> Quick update on these. I need a, a bar that comes from there, bends this corner and goes over the wall. So I've taken my bar and I've measured it out. I measured it there and there, and I cut a notch in it to match my angle. And then I can bend it, I left the face of it solid, and now I can bend it on that notch to get my angle right. And I'm just gonna weld up this gap once I make sure that I have it correct. So let's see if it fits here. And there it is. So it fits good. I'll be able to bolt straight to the pole here and then I'll attach it to the wall on either end and I'll have my angles.
There we go. Front beds are basically done, at least for what I have to do here at the shop. I still need to mount the, uh, the attachments for the back wall, which I'll do out of, uh, I'm just going to take some angles, smaller ones than this, but I'll take some angles. I'm going to put, I'll put one here because there's a, a beam in the wall here that I can tie to. And then I've got my interior beams that I put up. So there's one there, one in the center, and one over here on the side. And I'll just, I'm just going to drill in and tap the holes for quarter 20 bolts uh, or 3 8 16 depends on what I want to do. Probably 3 8 16 since I use 3 8 on almost everything else. And then I'll be able to, I'm just going to put the bed, the, the wood for the bed right on top of these, or I might just mount it inside this rail because it's got a channel here. I can mount it inside the rail, and then the edge of this channel will kind of hold the, the, the bed in. And this one up here, I'm probably going to have to put another piece across here just as kind of a, a rail, or I might just clamp a board on here just to keep the kids from falling out. Otherwise, looks like we're good. I might want to do a ladder or some way for the kids to get in bed, but I think I'll be able to do it. Now I got to get onto this side one. Yum. What I've decided to do on this is instead of putting the uh, the super strut up here, because I only have one left, and it's, it would add a lot of weight that I just don't need, because I'm going to weld onto each one anyways. So what I've decided to do, is I'm going to drill a hole, a 5 16 hole, in each, the center of each one of these struts, and then I'm going to tap it with a 3 8 tap. And that wouldn't be nearly strong enough because that material is really thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bolt, and I'll thread it through a nut, and then I'll thread it into the hole, and I'll weld the nut onto the, to the strut, and that should be plenty strong. And then that will be guided, and then I can use 3 8 all thread, because i got a whole stick of it, a 10-foot stick, and I'll just run them down. I'll just put, I'll have, what, seven ties there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, so five ties to hold it on from the roof. So, and it'll be adjustable for height. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on it. the shelving slash bunk beds for today. I'll do the rest of the woodwork and that sort of thing on it when I get back to, um, to Fresno. The two front bunks are done. The side bunk is done. The adult bed is going to go down there. This is nice and strong. Doesn't even budge. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to get on and see if I can make these trailer tails. <laughs> 